It's a beautiful spring morning here in Dallas and a very important day for us at Dumb Money. We're mixing it up a little bit today. We're going to do something a little bit different. We're going to take you deeper into our process. Why, you may ask? It's what we go through to figure out if we're gonna invest in a company or not. It's not something we talk about that often, but it's a very important piece of what we do as investors. Specifically, our diligence process. What is diligence? Let's see what Wikipedia says. Careful and persistent work or effort. The necessary amount of diligence required in a professional activity to avoid being negligent. So today we're gonna to talk about three startups that we've been talking to. Class Media, Molo Car, and Diligent Robotics. Which is Moxie, the nursing assistant robot we love so much. Today is decision day. Lots to get to today. We have to decide what we're going to invest in. And I guarantee you by the end of this episode, we're going to be putting our money on at least one of these companies. If you're into this sort of thing, we're Dumb Money. We'd love to have you subscribe, ring the bell, get those notifications when we produce new content. And thank you so much for watching. A very important step in our diligence process is going to lunch. I'm gonna go meet up with Chris and Jordan and we're going to discuss these three investment opportunities and decide what to do. Meeting up with Dave at lunch to go over some of our due diligence on the three companies we have to make a decision on for today because at least one of them needs to have money wired in by end of day if we want in. To invest or not to invest, that is the question. I know that one or more of us likes all three of these investments. Diligent Robotics, Glass Media, Molocar. Truthfully, we've been investing in too many things the last few months. And like, we just need to realize that we have more deals coming to us than ever before, and we need to just be aware that we can't invest in everything. Let's talk about the due diligence process. We've done some fairly extensive due diligence on all three of these companies, starting with Molocar, okay? We've probably done the most with Molocar, mm -hmm. just from a jumping in, throwing the people we know at it, and and actually going to well, client meetings. We have expertise in, in the automotive industry sector. Molocar sells software and hardware to car dealerships. So we vetted them through Jerry and through Blaine, who are two of our top salespeople from eCarlist. They just gotta stay focused on what they do, what they do best, instead of going up, you know, yeah. 18 different rabbit holes right now. They have actually helped us vet them with dealers out in the marketplace. Most importantly, Lynn has been working with Molocar now for two and a half weeks. I've personally met with five different dealer groups and then on top of that had some strategic calls with some very large corporations that would be potential you know, acquisition plays. We typically don't have that kind of access. No. Dealers are really interested in the product. They think it could be really cool, but there's not a clear pathway to buying the product. One dealer told us, I love this. It makes total sense. It would make our life easier. But at $30,000 a year, I ultimately have to make a decision. Do I have a $30,000 problem? And I'm not sure if I can confidently say that I have a $30,000 problem locating keys in cars. I just don't know if it's feasible. Another dealer, the dealer that, that Jerry um, got some feedback from for us, told us they lose a ton of keys, but they charge them to the salesperson, so they don't care. If they lose a key, salesperson pays for it. Right. So they don't care. And, th and then our comeback was, well, that's great, but there's still a, a customer sitting for 40 minutes while you're running around the dealership looking for a key. How much is that customer, that bad customer service worth to you fixing? Well, but how many new, how many other deals can you do while that, while you're not waiting for that 45 minutes? Now we're trying to educate them on being a better car dealer. We're basically giving them a product that will help them run their business better. What they really want to see is how much more money are you going to make for me with this product? Let's see what Lynn has to say. I love the guys. I like the company and I like what they can do. I think for us right now, we don't see a clear path for execution that requires our funding. I'm just so glad we've got Len looking at this. We have a pretty big network, and a, a lot of our network are founders who have sold their companies, really smart people. We need to put all these people to work because they all have expertise in different areas. That's what we're doing with Lynn. Uh, actually, we're doing it with Chase as well. So has he told you what he thinks? Chase actually sent us a tape of his thoughts right after he met with Moxie. So it was really a pleasure to meet the Moxie team. Had a great time. Uh, after meeting Moxie, I believe that if the team is able to find a way to effectively distribute the product and is able to fit within the OPEX budget uh, within each of these different institutions, 
it could be a very big success. See, and that's what's great about having people who are experts in fields that you can go to, because I, I'm not an expert in robotics. I'm not an expert in hospitals and what they need. Again, we went out, we interviewed the client, we had an industry expert, Chase, now we have his thoughts on it. We just have a, we have four hours to make our decision. The wire deadline for funding close is today. today. We can't push us out any longer. The third one we're talking about today is Glass Media. You guys met with them when I was out of town. I'm not convinced. I love Glass Media. Glass Media, no one ever has to do this again. Just one person at corporate touches a button and the store gets changed. The whole storefront changes. But, but they're going to have every single window have a customizable glass if that's, Projection? What you, if that's what you because want, that doesn't you don't really need, make sense to me. I've already kind of made my decision I was in, it just depending on how, how deep I want to get into this deal. However, I was able to track down one of the former head of sales for the company. We talked to him two days ago. But yeah, I think I, I look at it as more of a novelty, of a cool thing, you know. So, and again, this is the kind of thing that, that we do. We typically try to find different people who might know something about the company. In this case, it is a guy who used to work there in the sales department. He had great things to say about the founder. He loves the company. He feels that the tech should be employed by stores. But when he was working there, he didn't have a lot of traction with companies because the price point was really high and they didn't really have any national traction to point to at the time. And so, now they have a bunch of national traction but they don't have a lot of closes. Not yet. They still have a lot of potential, but we haven't seen beyond the fossil example that you guys went and visited. Well, but I think the nice thing about the fossil example <laughs> is that that gives other retailers a place to go look and see it in action. The bottom line is this former employee who's, who does love the company and the founder did raise some red flags that I think need to be answered before we can make a final decision. So for today, uh, Glass Media is out in terms of making a final decision today. So we have 20 minutes until the deadline for wiring money. And I think it's decision time. We've heard from Lynn on Molocar. We talked to a former employee of Glass Media. What do you guys want to do? Well, I think we already decided that it's too early for Glass Media with the red flags that were raised. So I want to have another, a few more conversations with the founder before we make a decision there. Yeah, I agree. We cannot say yes to that one today. So on Molocar, there, we were gung-ho for this one, um, but We've, we've kind of learned more through this process, and I'm gonna say right now, it's it's not time to invest in this company. Well, well, what we need is a strategic partnership before we can move forward with Molocar. That's what we've learned through this process. They really need better distribution, and Lynn is gonna work with them over the next couple of months yeah. to try to strike one of those deals. So we could be investing in Molocar in the next couple of months, but yeah, let's today. let's table it for a couple months. Yeah, we're not and gonna rule it out, it's a good company. I'd love to see them get from their five dealers that they currently have to 50. Or a strategic partnership. And then reevaluate. And then finally, the investment we've probably had the most time to think about. It's the highest risk by far. This is a lottery ticket for us, let's be honest. But we love this space of robotics and we love the founding team and we love the value they're adding to hospitals. Jordan, would you agree? This is just one I want to do so much. I think we have to say yes. Totally, I think I think we're taking a bigger risk here than we normally do, um, but like there's just so much to love that I feel good about it. If we lose the money, I, I'm fine. I'm not fine so if we lose the money. I'm not, I'm not fine <laughs> losing the money at all, but I, I am 100% I'm 100% into the robotics company. So the decision is in, we are investing in diligent robotics, we are all for Moxie, and we are running out of time, we have to get a parking spot, right because now. these guys still bank somewhere that you have to literally go inside the bank branch to wire money. Isn't this fun though? What kind of... <laughs> we're, we're not gonna say which bank, uh, which bank you're at, but... Do you like to get to know your local banker? I have no problem, it takes me five minutes. It's not a big deal. I might switch to Dave's Bank so I never have to do this again. I will never switch to Dave's Bank simply yeah. because this bank, I like the interior design. Back in the car just in time to wire my money while at the stoplight. Send. All before the light turned green. You like this episode? Let us know. We're Dumb Money. We're all about finding interesting investment opportunities and sharing our real lives and real investments with you. If you're not yet subscribed, please hit the subscribe button. We'd love to have you back for next week's episode. And until then, we're Dumb Money. Thanks so much for watching.